Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to I'm doing good too. Welcome back on my video session. So today I'm gonna show you something really really interesting that a lot of people haven't been making this kind of video for quite a few years now. It's about the M player program. M player, yeah? Now the M player program is a multimedia program, yeah. I've noticed that the M player, <coughs> this hasn't been explained properly. The M player, right, does not uh, play photos. You can't view any photos in there. But it does music and uh, videos. That's what it does. If you look previously, it was playing DVD discs, wasn't it? If you've seen some YouTube videos before, it was playing DVD discs, wasn't it? We'll go into that a bit further. So first of all, you need an SD card, which has got your Tiro Museo or payload or whatever you want to call it. It's all, it needs to be in this uh, SD card first, your Tiro Museo and all that, and your M player app needs to be in this SD card as well okay it needs to be all in there this uh, is a flash drive yeah because in the M player you can uh, use SD cards flash drives and hard drives to be your multimedia content can you use external drive on M player no you can't you can't you can't do that you just can't do that the problem with M player is that you need to install DVD X install installer so I'm gonna put the SD card in my console okay First of all, can you see that? Yeah. What was in there? Yeah. There you go. That's it. Because you have to put everything while the console is closed. Yeah. So the flash drive is showing you. That needs to go. You can put in the front USB port for multimedia. It doesn't matter. It works. Okay. There. It goes in the first port, not the second one, okay? Don't use the second one, use the first one. There you go. That's how it works. Now, now we'll put it on. No sound will be played in this video because of the issues that you get. No sound. When you connect a flash drive, yeah? Let's see which one's not formatted. Okay? It will come with this dialog box. It doesn't matter, just press cancel. Yeah. Press cancel there. Now from here, you have to use a remote. No, how did that happen? Something stupid thing, man. Okay, there you go.
and here you go up to that browser thing again you do your remote Here, you select Emperor and load it. Okay. So here you got all these options in here, Emperor. Yeah. So you go to, uh, if you want to go to options, I will go in there first. Then go to aspect okay this is the screen sizes you'll get see you got all these 60.9 4.3 and 2.3 5.1 yeah so i would select 16.9 and press back on your remote there you go uh, go back again then press open So this is a flash drive. Okay, I'm trying out for you first. Okay. Then you go to file. Then you go to V USB. Also, my file type is NTF NTFS. There you go. You got all these kind of stuff in there. Okay, I'll play a music track to you first of all. So, you prove with that you could play music tracks. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna play this to you. Hold on, let me get this straight for you guys. Yeah, it's working. It just doesn't show nothing on there yet, so don't worry. See that? It works. Yeah? It's a bit weird, it doesn't show nothing on there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, there's that one. Um, so we go to Wii USB again. Now we can look at some videos. Uh, okay, I've got my own videos. I'll show you one of them. So let's check it out. Sometimes it does that. If it doesn't like the format, yeah, it will do that. See, look what it just did. Sometimes they don't even work on there. Uh, I don't think I've got anything in there. Oh, there he is. Okay. Right. I'll put the put Ninja Gator. Same people. There you go. Works very well. Not bad, isn't it? And so with the remote, you know the D-pad to the right. Look that. If you press that, you can see this one button. You can forward it. Look. Show you this one. Watch. You can forward it. Look. See that? 
Amazing, look. Sometimes if that, that problem comes with that text, which is not supposed to come, he will set back where he was. See that what happened? Stop it, and you can press stop for me as well. Yeah, that usually happens. Yeah, so if you get that kind of message which is not supposed to come, because it's supposed to be here, any now it should be a full screen now. So we play the same film. Ah, uh, this film's 4.3, isn't it? I suppose. Uh, try to the head off. You're 4.3, aren't they? No good. Let's try and get like a. Ah, uh, is that no organ? They all like that, aren't they? As soon as we've been all as well. Long back three. This could be full screen, yeah? Yeah, it looks wide screen anyway, so look. Showing framing issues, look at that. It's not even working properly. Look, look what he's doing. Finally, look, looks poor. Skip all this. Yeah, it's definitely not working so good. Okay, give us some shorter. Yeah, this one looks full screen, yeah? Yeah, yeah, look at this one. Yeah, take a look at this one. So it works. It works pretty good, the Emperor does. So look, I mean, it plays quite a number of formats. So it should be just like encoded right and all that. Your, your movies needs to be just right. Look at that. So yeah, I mean, it's quite... It's pretty good. So... The other thing I want to tell you about this program, yeah, is that you got all these options. Look, VSD means you could play from SD, yeah. So my SD card, yeah, th is this. My SD card's got all these ones because I haven't got nothing in there else in there. Yeah? Look, you could play from SD card as well, yeah. So you got SD, then you got we USB as well, yeah. I've noticed that the Wii USB was for uh, for flash drives and hard drives, but I've noticed that only flash drives are working. The hard drives not working anymore on there. Believe me, if you're watching some old videos, it's gonna say it works with hard drive. It doesn't. The hard drives don't work anymore on it. Now the other thing is about it's about the DVD part, yeah. The DVD. Stop that. Now, previously, the end player was playing DVDs, but what you have to do here, you have to install a DVD X installer. You know what happens now? You can't even install that. If you can't install a DVD X installer this program will not play any dvd it won't play them yeah it won't play them at all so you need to install the dvdx installer but even you do that the dvdx installer you can't install it anymore that's a problem so can you use 
DVDs in this program if you can't even store DVDX install anymore. But previously you can store it because with the DVDX installer, once that's installed, then you can play DVDs in M in M player. But if you can't uh, install the DVDX installer, look what happens. Okay, let me show you. So I've got this film. Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah Okay, so you've got the Wii U front of you Yeah Right There's a disc I'll show you more so I'm not messing about. Yeah. Okay. So you put it in the drive. But usually it was working through this drive. That's what he was doing. Look. Here you go. I'll put it through the drive here now. Okay. Now, when you're gonna when you're gonna go on here, okay? Okay, you can still scroll down here. So, obviously, DVDX installs not installed. So, look what's gonna happen now. You go back to file. Wii DVD, yeah. Mounting is mounting it. Error. You see that? I'll do that again. No, you can't play it. See that? There's another way of doing it here, here, DVD video. If you click on that play DVD, it will freeze. It just freezes. Okay. We can try play from play title. Nothing there. Then you, then you got this option. I've never tried this with the bottom one. It doesn't do anything. Then you got chapters. It's disappeared. It's showing error as well now. <laughs> See that? So without D DVD X installer. You cannot play DVDs now. You can't even install this program anymore. You can't install it. This program is good for SD cards and flash drives. Yeah? The hard drives don't work anymore on this. Uh, no hard drive, no DVDs in this program now. It's just SD card and USB. It's gone. It's just gone basic now. This program has. So it's not. It's quite good because it still plays quite a lot music and video formats. It's really good for that. I mean, if you want to use this program. You can use SD cards, USB flash drives, and you can use number of music and video formats. It's quite good for that because this program plays quite the most 
of audio and video formats so it's pretty good for that I would say so so don't bother with hard drives and DVDs for this program it's not gonna do that anymore so go for SD cards and USB flash drives so there you go it's pretty good still this program is I would say yeah it's pretty good I mean you can still use it for that kind of stuff still good I mean if you're a person that's into SD cards and USB flash drives and you're into audio and video formats well there's no photo you can't view any photos in this program okay you can't do that so don't bother it won't work so there you go I mean pretty good it's pretty good because like let's see if I got any photos to prove it here that you can't play them I'll go to the USB again yeah that's me see nothing these are photos yeah you can't do that so there you have it pretty good program still so give your likes comment subscribe thanks for watching bye for now